everybody good morning everybody good afternoon good evening of course depending on where around the world you are watching or listening to this particular message i hope that you're well i hope that you're good um i'm smiling from year to year because i'm excited to be chatting with you this morning <laughs> that's just what brings me so much joy now it is a monday morning of course and um you are tuned in and you're listening to the video tour show live from new york city with myself your favorite darling voyo jaboda and um, i'm here to share with you your daily dose of global goodness and i hope that um you had an incredible weekend and are ready to receive some goodness this morning and as we do every single monday to friday um 10 a.m um we we get to engage me and you we get to share some global goodness and what do i mean by global goodness i mean all things that are good in the world that you need to know about that you need to hear about i promise to share that with you here on the show the world is a good place it just depends where you're looking and where you're listening and uh, you're going to find all that good here good people good conversations um i'm going to take you to good pl places I'm going to show you good things, okay? That's just what it's all about. <laughs> so I hope that you are ready to receive all of that and so much more. And, um, you know, I love obviously opening up with all the formalities so that they are the way, right? Um, starting off with, oh, social, follow us on social media. We're at the Weird Twitter show and all social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, YouTube, TikTok, like we are there. Just search us, we'll find us. <laughs> And now we have officially launched our website. I'm so excited about that. www.thevrealtorwantashow.com. I built that website with my very own two hands. So I'm so excited that you guys get to see it finally. Um, it's just the beginning phases of the website currently. Um, and there's so much more that's going to be upgraded and um, you know in, in, incorporated within the website. But I really want the website to be... Um, you know, a place where the conceptualization and the vision of the show really gets to encapsulate and make sense. And um, kind of, yeah, just to really en engage with you on it from a visual point of view, right? So that's basically what, um, and to really create the identity and the livelihood of the show. And it's really going to be on the website. So do go check it out. TheBoyoJaboraShow.com all right <laughs> um so go check us out over there the show is available on your television screen so if you're in america or you're in canada then you might see this on your tv screens and i must tell you now how you can watch it on your tv screens okay like on television is where you can find us as well um you can simply go on if you have a roku then you are part of the group of people who have the privilege and the honor of being able to see this on your tv screens go onto your roku and search the enterprise theater the the i will try and speak it like i'm trying to work on my american accent so that i can have it in the bag if i need it so it's the enterprise theater theater <laughs> theater um the enterprise theater on roku and then on your enterprise theater you can find the vn streaming tv channel and you'll search you'll find the show airing um uh, relatively during the day so that's where you can find it as well as on the www.vnstreaming.com website you can watch our recent episodes of the show as well as uh, on our youtube channel right you can find some full episodes over there as well so we are we are findable like wherever you want to find us you can find us you have a spotify you can listen to episodes on our spotify like i want to make it an avid point that wherever you are around the world you have the opportunity to find the show okay um and as you can probably tell by now if i did have a guest i would have introduced them to you by now but we don't have a guest today because i wanted to answer some asked frequently asked questions um about the show like the show is now it's been around for 12 months um and i'm gonna explain really what the show is about and what exactly i'm trying to do with the show and, and what the vision and the goal of the show is so that you can have an understanding as you're continuing to follow the show's journey and the you know the show's trajectory that you can have an idea and a clear understanding of what we are trying to do here with the show um so 
so that you can kind of be ready for it as well. So um, I've got the questions. I'm going to be answering them. I, I don't know. I, get all, I always get nervous when I get to like, you know, get asked questions because I'm like, oh, I must think on my feet. So I'm the type of person who I don't, I can think on my feet, but only when, it, when there's, oh, that's my mom. I, I say my mom's number as best friend on my phone. <laughs> She's calling me. <laughs> Uh, I'm a text and say I'm recording an episode. Um, so that's my mom. Like she, she, she calls me 24 seven all the day, all day, every day. But anyway, um, where was I? You see now I lost track of my thoughts. Um, <laughs> there is, um, where was I? Oh my God, I hate this. Oh, I was explaining how I can only respond to questions. Like I can only respond to efficiency when there's crisis like when it's a question I never because what I have what happens is I always gonna go back later and I'm like I should have answered that, that this that way or that way or that way so I get so nervous about questions but I'm gonna answer them anyway so wish me the best wish me luck as I um really kind of go into what the show is about so do, 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 do. I'm gonna make a disclaimer before I start this Q&A, <laughs> uh, my mom, my best friend, who you just saw calling me now, she has been making it a very valid point. Not only her, there's been a couple of my other people that have been making it, that have been making it very clear to me that I should make it known and make it certain to call the show a podcast. And I'm so used to show, like, if you know me, I studied film and television studies and media and writing at Africa's highest ranking university. I like to make it clear, UCT. And I studied television, so television is what I studied. Do you know what I mean? So I'm still used to, I'm used to television. I'm used to TV, I'm used to shows, I'm used to series, I'm used to films. Um, so I didn't study podcasting, right? So as, as a medium of, 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 um, of, of media, right? But Nuances, nuances of it obviously have been part of my experience. But as a conversationalist, as a storyteller, um, as someone who really loves having conversations and, and asking questions, um, it's been making a lot of sense to really structure the show in a capacity where it is in a podcast format. And why I say that is because um, you'll be seeing a lot of people that are going to be coming on the show who I'm going to be having conversations with, right? And those people are um, going to be coming in a capacity where they're going to be in, in conversation with me, but in, in, a, in a capacity where they are comfortable, where they are um, at ease and where it's a conversation more than it is a, um, a show, right? Where it's put together and well orchestrated, um, where questions are all well prepared and well in advance, thought of, where really in a podcast ca capacity, it's it's free flowing, it's it's conversation, it's even though you know the questions, but the, the premise of it is that we engage, that we converse, and that there's not there's no um, there's no preconceived notion of what it's going to be like, right? So. I really like that idea and I like the direction of that. So it's still in the, it, it still is the Voyager Water show, but in its formatting, in the formatting capacity of it being in a, a podcast, which is why it's very, um, you know, part of it is doing things like these where there's no guest, right? And there's, there's the ability for me to converse with you and talk to you so you can get to know me a little bit more. Um, and um, as we get to know other people a little bit more as well. So... That really is the idea for it. And I am, you know, my mom is like, podcast, podcast, podcast. Stop calling it a show. Tell people it's not a talk show. It's a podcast. And I'm like, I get the difference. And maybe that's what I should call it. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's a podcast. Um, but it's called a show because I, like, I, like, I just like having show at the end of the name of the podcast. So I will say show. Okay. <laughs> um so yeah that's that's the direction that i think we're going to be taking moving forward um i'm obviously a little bit nervous because i haven't studied podcasting right so i don't the, my my notion and my knowledge of the formatting has been me working with 
you know, clients who have required and encountered my services as a producer. So um, again, for those who don't know me, um, I am a, you know, television and film producer. So I produce content, right? I create and conceptualize and put together um, projects and, and shows and podcasts for other people. Um, so I, that's, that's my understanding. And for me, when I do put a podcast together, I put it in together using the prescripts and the principles of creating a show, right? So even putting this together in my mind, I'm thinking about all the things that we do when putting together a show, um, that will then translate to becoming in a podcast capacity. So that's really my overall understanding of it i haven't necessarily engaged in that many podcasts i haven't been and i've been on more television shows than i have been on podcasts i've been on more tv show sets than i have been on podcast sets i've been um i have more friends on tv than i have friends who have podcasts i um now listen to a lot of podcasts but i still engage with a lot of television and that's just basically mainly because the kind of that I come from as well, podcasting is not a big thing. It's becoming more popular now, but the past five years has, we've seen the rise of podcasting a lot later than it has been here in the States, for an example. So I've found it to be coming to America and then coming to this world of podcasting, you know, and it's like, okay, <laughs> back home, it's still something that's kind of, television is still a massive thing. It's still the most watched medium of, of, of engagement and, and entertainment. So it's getting used to that formatting and that idea as well, which I am now comfortably in you know um and yeah so there's there's opportunity to learn i'm learning as i'm going um so be patient with me um and work on this journey with me um and i always say like i'm a student of of just the industry i'm a student of life and i'm constantly evolving i'm constantly growing so i kind of take that um within this realm of you know, where I'm kind of moving the trajectory towards and moving with it intentionally to say, hey, I have a podcast. <laughs> I'm a podcaster. Oh, I have a podcast. I'm a producer and I have a podcast. I, I don't like titles. Like, titles freak me out. And I'll tell you, okay, I need to answer these questions, but I'll tell you why titles freak me out. And I'm, and I'm sharing these things a little bit so that you can get to know me a little bit more. And across the journey of this podcast, you're going to get to know a lot about me. But... Titles freak me out because I'm someone who's multifaceted and multi, multi-talented, multi-talented, okay? So I have different talents and I have different skills and I have different abilities and I can do a number of different things and I can do a number of different things well. So whenever there's titles put upon me, so someone will be like, oh, Vuyo is a... So recently I had a billboard, a Times Square billboard, a massive Times Square billboard, and what was written on it was media personality, director and producer. And I was like, what about authoring? Because I have a book I write. What about entrepreneurship? Because I do a lot of, you know, business. And what about... Um, speaking? Like, I do so many things. So which titles can fit in 140 descriptions or 100 characters. You know, it's very, it's just, for me, I'm not the type of person who you can fit in a box. So titles just freak me out. Like, don't, I'm just Vuyo. I'm a multi-talented honey. I'm a multi-talented darling. That's what I am. That's who I am. <laughs> Call me that. Um, so, yeah. So podcast, now adding podcast to it is going to be like, oh, another title that won't fit in the 100 character description in the bio so yeah whatever um so uh, yeah that's my hesitancy with 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 um with the title so i'm just a creator i think that's that's the best i'm a creator and a storyteller uh let's put it that way but yeah so the show as i said is called the voyage with a show it's in a podcasting formatting now <laughs> And it is to share your daily dose of goodness. And why I kind of like this idea of daily dose of goodness is I believe that the world is a good place. Why do I believe that the world is a good place? 
because I know that because there's so much bad in the world that bad exists when there's good like it can't just be bad like I I I just think that I just think that those two things they coexist if there's good then there's bad and if there's so much bad then there's also so much good there should be so much good so the premise of this particular podcast is to share that goodness with you, is to give you that goodness and is to share global goodness because we are global beings. I'm a global citizen. I am a global darling. Like I'm a global girl, heart and heart. And my global girls and guys know this, that we see the world as one place. I see the world as one place and with different destinations and different locations and we all existing and we all are one. And then we have varieties, you know what I mean? And we come in different colors and shapes and sizes, but I see the world as just this one place. Um, and so the, I don't see limitations with, between me and someone from a different country and something like, because I believe that we are one. So it's for me to see the globe, this one beautiful place and to share the goodness within it. And how I'm doing, how I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to doing that is in creating um, this podcast. And, um, you know, I, I am hoping that it's going to not only showcase the good, but it's going to empower you to be good and to do good for the greater good. You know what I mean? Like, I believe that in order for you to truly be in your purpose, you need to be good to yourself. In order for you to truly serve others, you need to be good to others. For you to truly be in touch with, um, you know, with, with this, just the world, you need to understand and see the world as a good place. So I think from the premise of goodness and wanting to be good and wanting to feel good, um, and wanting to experience good, you then tend to want to be good and do good. So I think that's definitely what I want this experience to feel like, to feel like a good place, to feel like a, a, a happy and a joyful place. And for those who don't know, my name Vuyo in my native South African language is Tosa means joy. So it's a good, joyful place that you can come to every single morning and feel good. There's a song by Lyra. I just want to feel good. Every day, I want to wear a smile upon my face. I want to feel the little of a brand new. That could be a nice title sequence for the song, but we don't have the rights for that song, so I, we can't. Anyway, you know what I mean? But that's the, that's the song that's in my mind when I think of the show. Like, I want to feel good every day. I want to wear a smile upon my face. Like, that's... That's the, the colorfulness that I'm seeing it in. You know what I mean? So, yes, that's my vision for it. That's the goal. That's what I want to, that's, that's what I see it and envision it to be. Um, and why do I believe that I should be sharing the goodness? Because I think I'm a good person. Like, I fundamentally believe that I am a good person, first and foremost. And I think I'm a global person, second and foremost. And I think I'm a consistent person, which is third and reasoning why it's daily. Um, and dose because I'm sharing, I love sharing, right? So I'm dosing it to you. I'm giving it to you and I'm doing it consistently. And I'm, sh and I'm, because I'm a good person and I'm a global person, I'm sharing global goodness with you. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Um, so I believe that I'm a good person and I believe it's my responsibility, um, to, as a practitioner of the industry to utilize this platform and this vehicle and this medium um, to spread my contribution to the world and to be part of a greater ideal, which from my point of view um, is, you know, being good and, you know, doing good for the greater good of the world. Um, so I think I'm a good person. I think I am a person who is um, very much global. And why I say global, and I said this, on Friday, like being global is not a geographical location. I believe being global is a mindset. I have a global mindset. I see the world, as I said, as one place, but I see myself 
in context of the world. I see myself in different locations. I see myself in different spaces. I see myself with different people from different parts of the world. So I've only been to a few countries and by a few, I mean three, very few in my, in my, in my context, like very few, three continents. Okay. Now, now it makes it a little bit, it feels better. <laughs> now it feels better when I say three continents, cause that, that sounds global. <laughs> that sounds more global than three countries, right? Um, after touring my country for two months, I went to every single province in my country for two months and it clicked to me and I wanted to make it a point to go to every country around the world. It's like, okay, so if I can do South Africa and see all parts of South Africa, right, with nine different um, provinces, why not go to nine different continents and nine different countries and nine, in, you know what I mean, in nine different years, like there's so much possibility. So that's my, fr my mind frame and framework. And also I am able to, I think that there is so much ability within me to connect people from all over the world and bring people from all over the world together. Like, I think it's my responsibility um, to bring joy to the world. My name is Joy. It's Vuyo. Joy, Vuyo means joy. So to bring and spread joy to the world, right? So, and to the world, meaning people from all over the world, not just people in South Africa or people in New York or people in America, people all over the world. So that's my mission and my goal is to spread joy, to bring joy to the world, joy to the world, joy to, I mean, that's going to be the title sequence, joy to the world. <laughs> so, yeah. And then... I think um, it's going to be so, so, so important for you guys to know this, that um, I'm a practitioner of the industry, right? So I studied the, I studied the industry, not just from a, an academic point of view, I'm very academic um, in nature. And by academic, I mean, I am a scholar. Um, I love learning. I am enthusiastic about learning. I love knowing something that I didn't know yesterday. Like, I love that. I love figuring things out. Like I love knowing. So not only from an academic point of view, but from a practical point of view, I've been in the business for such a long time. And I count back now to 10 years, I'm 25 years old. And for the past 10 years, um, even more than 10 years, 2013 is when I started. So wait, it's, no, it is 10 years because it's 2023 now. So I started in 2013 and I was 15 in 2013. So my maths is like, my maths is doing the jives. Um, so 10 years ago, 2013, I started in this industry and I've really been working extremely hard into cementing and understanding what this industry is about, why this industry exists. You know, that's just all the questions I've been asking myself in the past, you know, 25, 20 years, let's say. And it's been an, it's been my, I found it to be a responsibility for me to, um, to study it and then take what I've learned about it and what I know about it and use it responsibly. So it's a responsibility that I find as a practitioner now who recently graduated from Africa's highest ranking university, once again, <laughs> UCT. Um, I graduated with, with film and television studies and I've had extensive experience both on television and broadcasting. So um, I've got the, the, the skills and the qualifications to do something like this and to present something like this. Um, so it's way up my alley, right up my alley, actually. Definitely right on par with who I am and what I've been able to do in the past couple of years. So I'm feeling very confident about my abilities in here. And I'm hoping that I will be able to, I not only hope, but I know, that I'll be able to execute eloquently and efficiently. So that's why you should trust that when I serve you your daily dose of global goodness, you are going to receive exactly that. All right. Now, let me answer the questions that I think I might have answered a lot of them. My goodness, like I talk. Um, but there are five things that I'm hoping to spotlight and highlight and showcase on the show. The one is this global goodness I'm talking about. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys and throughout this experience, um, global goodness, and I'm going to be sharing with you and 
inviting you and experiencing with you um, or bringing you into the experience of good global people and stories. So you're going to be getting good global people and good global stories. You're going to be getting good global places and experiences. I'm going to be showing you and telling you rather about good global places you should go to, you should experience, you should visit, that I am going to be trying to experience and I'm sharing them with you so that you can also experience them with me as, as I am going to be experiencing them while you are also experiencing them so that we can experience them together as global girls and guys. Do you know what I mean? Um, global, good global products and brands. I think there are incredible good global brands out there and products that I would like to let you know about. And you're going to be finding out about them on this particular podcast. I'm going to be sharing with you good global ideas and innovations. I mean, the world is endless of incredible ideas that people have, incredible innovations that sometimes we don't, might not know about, that I'm going to be shining the spotlight on on this particular podcast, as well as good global media and entertainment. What is a VUYO show? What is a VUYO to want to show without a little bit of glimpse of some media, some entertainment, some fun and excitement? Oh, that's my light. <laughs> Um, let me quickly switch my light on and I'll be back with you in just a second. Okay, we're back. So I have, I have sensor, I have sensor lights here in the studio and they, they go off after I'm dormant for a couple of minutes. So... <laughs> Uh, I'm going to be working on fixing that very, very soon. But um, yes, so I did say good global media and entertainment. I am a global media, a global media personality. So what is a global show that I am doing without some entertainment as a media? I'm talking very good global, you know, music, film, you know, like everything that I enjoy that I believe is good and that you should know about, I'm gonna let you know all about it. So those are the categories of things that you're gonna be finding out about here on the show. And I hope that you really are ready to receive. Um, and if you are on an adventure to learning more about the world and about the globe and about the good in the globe and the good that you might also have that you might not have uncovered yet, then you're gonna be doing that exactly on this show. Um, so, yeah, I'm hoping that you guys are going to come on this journey with me and I'm going to be answering, I think, I believe that I answered these questions, but um, what is a podcast about? I explained that particular one. Who is a podcast for? This podcast is for my global girls and guys. If you're a global girl, if you're a global guy and you love all things global, you want to be global, you want to start thinking global, imagining global, starting imparting yourself in the global, in the global ecosystem, then this is a place for you to do that. So if you have big, the biggest ideas and the biggest brand and the biggest story, like if you are a, if you are someone who is like me, who dreams very big in high school, my, in primary school, my primary school maths teacher called me Vuyo the big big dreamer it was referenced from a television advert that was you know that had a character named Vuyo and he was a dreamer because he had a I believe a, a, a very successful business but he referenced it to me being a big dreamer because he saw that I was a big dream I dreamed big like I dreamed big beyond wildest imagination the dreams that I have are not comprehensible so this podcast is for people that have uncomprehendable dreams like me. Uh, sometimes you're called crazy. Sometimes you're called weird. Sometimes you're called, um, who do you think you are? <laughs> sometimes you're called, hmm, okay. Like it's for those types of people that disrupt the norm, people that um, go beyond the status quo. It's for people that dream very big and for people that take no, that don't take no for an answer, um, and that will go where their wildest dreams take them. This podcast is for those people, my global girls and guys. That's what I call them. So if you are a global girl and guy, then you definitely are going to enjoy this particular podcast. 
Why is it filmed in New York City? New York City. <laughs> I love New York. I came to New York for the first time in 2021. I was doing my book tour. And I was like, I love the city. Like, I'm going to share like, something so, so simple, so mundane. But I'm a night owl, right? And I love working at night. Like, my brain is constantly like a hamster. It's like, shh all day, every day, even during the night. So I have this thing where I, work, I used to make my family so mad because I had the light on all night. You know, it's like, we're trying to sleep, oh, switch the light off. And I was just working, studying or doing whatever, coming up with ideas or drafting things down. So I'm a night owl and I came to New York City and I saw these people 12 a.m. in the morning, 12.30 a.m. in the morning, 1 a.m. in the morning, moving around being active, working, doing. I was like, yes, like, okay, I'm not weird. I mean, there are people here at this time of the day where in my country, things are shut off at 12 o'clock. Like, the only, the, the only thing that's on is the street light, you know? So I was like, I like this idea of a city that's constantly moving, that's constantly, you know, um, that's constantly on. And that's just, you're not, you, you're not, you're not weird for being ambitious. You're not weird for moving. You're not, you're, you're not weird for doing. Because I just, yeah. I, and, and, I, and I just think that that's the, kind of like the environment that I would like the show to be brought up in, to be nurtured in. Um, and those who watched, who followed the journey of the show, it started off in January 2022, 2023. Earlier, it's been 12 months of the show. So the evolution of it um, and wanting to find a home for it and a place that would resonate with the energy of the show, that place felt like New York City. And um, I was just very intentional about coming here. And I've been working so hard on, make, on just putting this, like what I'm doing now, I've been working for months to do. <laughs> for so many months. And I'm just finally glad that it's done. Um, if you follow me on social media, you'll see I recently painted the studio like with my hands. You know, I've been working tirelessly to make this, to put this all together. So I've put in the work to share this global goodness with you guys. And I, yeah, I just, I'm ex I'm, I love it. I enjoy it. I love it. It's part of who I am. It's my purpose. So I'll do it in it. I'll paint 10 rooms if I have to. If I have, if, well, like, if, if that means I'll be able to share some global goodness with you. Uh, so New York City makes a lot of sense. And I heard the mayor of New York City last year, I was at an event um, and it was part of the United Nations. And, you know, he was one of the speakers. It was at this very fancy hotel and very beautiful event, right? With some, some of the most powerful people in, in, the, in the world in that room. And the mayor of New York City said, hi, I'm Mayor Eric Adams. I'm the mayor of the most powerful city in the world. And I was like, whippy. That's it. <laughs> so, Mr. So, um, Mr. Julius Malema, I'm kind of like, whippy. <laughs> um, I was like, you're speaking my language, sir. You are talking my language. The most powerful city where in the world? I want to live there. I want to be part of that. I want to be part of that most powerful city in the world. Sign me up, sir. So I was like, I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back to this most powerful city in the world because I believe I'm one of the most powerful people in the world and I've got the most powerful um, ideas and the most powerful voice. I, I think that's just who I am. So I'm going to go to where the most powerful people in the world and the most incredible people in the world exist. That's where you'll find me. So and I, I just needed to find an identity with a show that matched the show and that matched my energy as well. So that's why we are in New York. <clears throat> oh, it's Monday, guys. I'm not going to sing any longer. Okay, so who are the expected guests? So I did say earlier on that we're going to have a variety of different experiences on the show. Um, from me showing you global people, global brands, global products, global experiences and places, global ideas and innovations, as well as global and media, and media and entertainment. So you're going to be seeing a variety of guests as well as sometimes there will be guests, sometimes there won't be guests, depending on the topic of the day from, that, from those categories. And we're going to just be exploring those um, 
as we move along. So I don't want to, I don't want to box the type of guests that are going to be coming on the show. The criteria though for those guests is that they are good global people and good global stories. And if someone has a good global story, if someone's story is for the greater good and the, the story serves a greater purpose and um, is worth telling to showcase the good in the world, then that's the stories that we're going to be sharing and telling. Those are unheard stories, the stories of triumph and, of, of triumph and, and um, perseverance, the stories of consistency, those types of stories that um, require want to be good and to do good other types of stories that you're going to be experiencing on this show and the type of people are people who have worked hard who have triumphed who have both successful businesses who are inspiring leaders who are celebrated stars people who have amazing stories to share of um of goodness that's the type of people you're going to be seeing so celebrities um you know people of influence people um who are who have something to say and that I believe the world needs to hear. Those are the people that you're gonna be seeing. Um and I'd love to hear though who you would like to see. So let me know in the comments who would you like to see and we'll we'll see if we can make it happen. You know, I'm not gonna promise you but I can do all things to Christ that gives me strength. I can do all things that I put my mind to. So whoever you guys tell me you want, we can figure something out and um we can work hard at it i'm not gonna say much okay so why should people watch the podcast watch the podcast because this is going to be something that i'm hoping will be part of your daily routine i'm hoping will be part of your daily experience because it's something that's gonna as much as we are bombarded um with so much negativity like this is happening and that's happening. And every time I go on social media, I watch the news, I go, you know, it's like, oh man, like, oh no. I want you to be able to come on here and say, huh, okay. Hmm. That's what I want you to do. I want you to come and watch the show because you're going to come out of this experience feeling good, thinking good, wanting to do good and realizing the good that's in you. So that's why you should be watching the show. And that's why you should be coming back Monday to Friday, 10 a.m. Eastern time, right here on the Vio Chivota Show. If you have any further questions, drop them in the comment section and I'll be so happy to answer them um, to you. And um, uh, hopefully as we continue this journey, you're going to stick alongside with me. You're going to stay on my side as I stay on your side um, by serving you all of this global goodness. I am Vuyo Chaboda. I'm on all social media platforms. So find me, search me, follow me, subscribe to me, do all the things that I've done on the socials. <laughs> and don't forget to, of course, follow the show as well on all social media platforms. You guys must know something and know this for sure, that I love you so, so much. And I can't wait to do this again with you tomorrow in another riveting episode of the VO Jamora Show. From me to you, with so much love, it's goodbye. God bless and have a fantastic day. See you next time. <laughs>